This movie's kind of loud, so as it wraps up here, it'll be easier to talk to you. But we just finished watching Murder on the Orient Express. A Kenneth Branagh film, Kenneth Branagh directed, produced, and uh, starred in this film. And there were an incredible, see? There you go. There were an incredible amount of big name actors in this movie. WCF um, Insurance, thank you. I hesitate to even. And I hesitate to even list them there. all, but I will. <laughs> I will tag them in this video. Um, but Judy Dench, Johnny Depp, Josh Gad, Daisy Ridley, etc. You had a lot of big name actors in this film. And the only thing I can conclude is that there were a bunch of actors that wanted to participate in this, like a true passion project. They saw the screenplay, they saw Kenneth Branagh was directing, and they said, I'm in. I want to be part of this. Um, Agatha Christie, I should have expected a twist ending. I wasn't expecting it. I was... You, you suspect every single person at some point during the movie, and that's a perfect whodunit, where the evidence points to every person and you're still left guessing until the very end. I'm not going to give it away, because you have to see it. Um, but the basic premise, basic storyline, famous detective, Hercule Poirot. Um, for No Shave November, he has the world's most ridiculous mustache and goatee. Um, some critics said that that distracted from the story, but that is who he is. That's his character. I mean, it's, it's his trademark. If you grew up watching... Um, you know, Masterpiece Theater on PBS. This is a big screen version of Poirot. And it was fantastically done. Excellent acting. Um, you know, the theme basically was right is right and wrong is wrong. There is no in between. Or is there? Right? So uh, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> but uh, you owe it to yourself to check it out. Kenneth Branagh, you may know from. Um, much Ado About Nothing, um, the best version of that several years ago that had Denzel Washington and Emma Thompson and things in it. Um, also well known recently from directing and starring in Dunkirk, which came out earlier this year that I also did a review on on this channel. Um, so Murder on the Orient Express, still in theaters. This is a movie you could wait for, Redbox or something. I mean, you don't need the big screen to have the full cinematic experience for this one. Um, there are some beautiful sweeping expanses and landscapes and things, but a lot of that seemed and felt a little bit computer generated, um, not entirely authentic, I guess, but it's secondary to the story. The story is about characters, the story is the interviews. I am in the middle of um, the complete works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle about Sherlock Holmes on Audible, so I, I'm very familiar now with Sherlock Holmes. I know less about Hercule Poirot, but um, as, as a character, I feel like he's, he's the straight man, um, to borrow a term from comedy, right? He's, he won't be deviated from what is right, and Sherlock is more, you know, he... His methods are questionable, he runs afoul of the law, Hercule Poirot believes in justice. So I think um, Hercule Poirot is more relatable to most people, I think. He, he has quirks, right? He's a very particular person, um, but you you root for him more, you cheer for him more, where Sherlock is, is the hero that you can't quite embrace fully. You, you're amazed and impressed by his uh, intuition and who he is as a detective, but um, Poirot, for me, a little bit better. Okay, that's it for this review. Go check it out in theaters or wait for Redbox. I hope they make more. They set it up for another one to take place in Egypt, so maybe that'll happen too. Okay, subscribe to this channel by clicking here and on this side. Check out the other videos that I've made for this channel. Thanks for subscribing.